In 1979, Eugene Higgins founded Electroline Incorporated, a local wire and cable distributor that would grow into a global communication and IT solutions provider known as Electroline Data Communications Incorporated, EDCI. More than a place where people work, EDCI is a family of people working together, learning about our customers' needs, creating and implementing customer solutions, obtaining tools and technology to support the solutions of today and address the challenges of tomorrow. And most of all, supporting and celebrating the success that helps our company and our customers grow and excel. Founded on a philosophy of commitment and support, Electroline and EDCI represent a modern day success story 40 years in the making. Uh, my name is Larry Walden. Uh, my involvement goes back almost 40 years. Uh, I was a, uh, in purchasing for a paper company in uh, Wisconsin River Valley and Gene Higgins at that time called on me selling uh, wire and cable. Uh, it was Electroline at that time. Uh, Gene called on me and sold product and then ultimately Glenn started calling on me selling product. But they're always honest with us. and. Uh, and it was fair dealing, and I think that was the part that attracted me. I think our engineering department could, would speak for themselves, but I think they felt the same way. My name's Eric Erb. I've been here for 23 years. Um, technical service coordinator and slash project coordinator. Hi, my name's Matt Toma. I've been here 23 years as well. He's got me beat by... Like six months, I think. That was February. Yeah, I started in June. What it really comes down to is the attitude of the people around here, the um, camaraderie. Glenn cultivated that here, and, and it goes back to the culture again, too. You know, it's very family oriented here. I remember him telling me one time, just say, you know, when my kids were young, he said, hey, if you get an opportunity, coach your kids, be with them, spend time with them. So it's that culture, and it cares about, you know, the families here. That brings up the, the Christmas party. Well, he's always had somebody come in as Santa Claus for the Christmas party. We missed the Christmas party this last year, and my younger son's going, I didn't get to talk to Santa. How's he going to know what I want? <laughs> what really has kept me here after the internship is, is just the sense of uh, culture and community. Um, there's just a, a real sense of family values with the company. There's been awesome educational opportunities as well via doing like certifications. The core of EDCI and why it's successful, other than having exceptional people, exceptional engineers, um, is that uh, we're always trying to put the customer first. You know, the, the model that, you know, the customer is golden has always been um, kind of shine through anything we do uh, and, and how, we, how we approach any of our projects. So we chose EDCI as our implementer and the product that we had chosen uh, was I3 uh, Interactive Intelligence, uh, now uh, Genesis. Uh, really what impressed us most about EDCI is the people who talked about the products and services, really the sales, were also going to be the folks who were, go who were doing the engineering, uh, the design, uh, the development and the implementation. We were very comfortable with that. Uh, they felt more like company employees, more like family, more like partners. Uh, even in our earliest conversations uh, with EDCI, EDCI, and that's why we chose them to be our implementer. So I'm a third generation in the company, so that's why I show up every day, beyond this wonderful family we have here. So um, having been in different, different roles in EDCI, has just been really cool to kind of see how our different teams work and how they work together, and really just great people across the board. I was looking for a change uh, in technology uh, to do something a little bit different. Uh, and um, when I met Glenn um, and started to meet some of the staff, it felt like home. I think one reason that uh, people pick EDCI is the, the openness and the honesty, and we really want to be a partner. You know, we're there for them. So I think that reputation then follows, and you know, those customers are able to share with hopefully their their partners and their friends that, that EDCI did good work for them. And I think on top of that is when we do run into issues with our projects or, or tools, 
So we're right there saying, all right, let's work together to fix it. Advice from Glenn, I still keep this in mind today that um, thinking of your sales staff as your customer, my customer, me being an admin, thinking of the sales staff and all the others for that matter as my customer. I, I had a wedding maybe five years ago. Several customers were at that wedding because I, I felt that close to them. Um, just had a baby last month and again they're sending me congratulations and, and calling to get updates and, and everything else. Um, I Actually, I was just at a customer's daughter's wedding last weekend. I guess the point is uh, the family-oriented atmosphere extends well beyond just the employees of EDCI. It's our customers and their families as well. Um, customers work with companies that will provide them what they pay for. And EDCI is really good at you know building a relationship. And maybe a customer approaches a project with EDCI and they're looking at, we want this thing. Well, EDCI is going to look at your business and look at your people and like, you may want this thing, but this thing over here might be a better fit. And they trust us. They, they trust our engineers. They rely on us. They can contact us directly a lot of times to get things done. Um, yeah, I think that trust in the relationship building is really what sets the ECI apart. Because EDCI does invest in their employees, I was able to advance within the organization. Being here for five years, I've loved every opportunity that I've been given, and it's just a really great company to work for. Just the culture of EDCI, I do know that there will be future opportunities for me here, and that excites me. I think it's a legacy of hard work, of vision, you know, and truthfully caring, you know, that rise to the occasion, uh, never stop caring. Those are two of our, our mission statement pieces, and it's just true. It's just a very much a base of, if you, you know, you can build all this technology and complication, but if you have those things as the base, uh, you know, amongst a family who is really your second family and, you know, has your back, I think it just makes for an excellent place to work and you know an excellent business to grow with. When we say that we're a family-oriented company, we really are, and you don't you don't see that very often. And when people say it, they live it, and we say it, and we live it. And I think it really is just it's a testament to how we've what we where we came from, where we're going, and really just how they treat us as employees. When I started, there were seven of us, and obviously, like. That was tight friendships. I mean, Glenn and Jim Egan were very close. Um, uh, it was family. You know, when the when the company got together, all the family got together. You know, we have a group of people in this organization that that truly care, and they want to continue to help this company be successful. And so, you know, our. The reason we're successful is not only our internal people, but it's our customers. And if they're not happy and we're not providing for them what they need to make them successful, then we're out of business. And if we didn't have people who cared and wanted to do that, we wouldn't be growing. It's, it's great that we can lean on the staff and the staff can lean on us. And we enjoy growing together. And it's all because of all the hard work that everybody is doing. I think my dad and Papa built a great base and you know the employees that we have here today just really exemplify that it's just some they've built on it and you know our leadership has built on it and it's pretty awesome to be able to be third generation and actually look and see how awesome of a place it's become <laughs>